ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys had a great little weekend. Uh, I know it's, what is it, today's Wednesday. Um, again, my schedule makes it so I have weekends during weekdays. Um, but anyways, hope you had a good one. Now let's get right into this game. We are going back to Cleveland. Hello and welcome. Again, Thanks for play joining Cleveland. Us. Then we, we did LA, and now we're doing Cleveland show. again. It doesn't make Seattle sense. Mariners taking on the Cleveland Guardians. But anyways, let's enjoy the game. What did you guys think about the the All Star Weekend in Seattle? You know what? It sucks. I wasn't able to go. So just I keep forgetting about it, and, and it pisses me off because I don't think we'll have it in Quattro. Seattle for a what very, very long time. Yeah, Who knows? There's talks that they're saying, yes, we'd like to have it back because of ERA, the amount of people that showed up. Guys like that, it's like 48,000 people showed up. Crazy. I know a couple of buddies of mine went to the game. Uh, I mean, Julio with 41 home runs in the first round, right? No, Otani, people wanting him to play for Seattle. Let's go. Even improve, but I tell you what, but this anyways, for me, let's enjoy I'm this game. The outfield, I'm loving every minute of it. Waste no time there. Even though he was really late on it, he clearly barreled the ball because that one was ripped down the line. He had to be really short with that swing, not get beat by that pitch. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Here's Dylan Moore. Right side. Gonzalez grabs it on the run. Take a look at the lineup. Here's Jordan Alvarez. On the ground, two ball. Rosario, one. On the nailer, they got two. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Now the Guardians will get their shot, still scoreless. Back now at Progressive Field. On the hill for the Mariners, Logan Gilbert. Well, a very solid ERA last season, just a little over three. And when you've got a guy like that uh, taking the mound for you, the offense is definitely expected to score you know, four runs at least unless they're really struggling. So you know more times than not, when he's on the bump, you're going to win the ball game if you just do your part as an offense. So last year, great year. He wants to repeat that or even improve. And I think there is some room for improvement. He's got good stuff. It's just executing from hitter to hitter. Let's take a look at Terry Francona's lineup for the Guardians. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. All right, let's do this, baby. Come on. Swing and a foul straight back. Gilbert. He's the kind of starter that a lot of pitching coaches and managers as well really appreciate. Not a guy who's going to get himself into trouble by dancing around, by walking guys. There we go. Strike two. And a pitch. Bounce to the right. Jimenez. Bam. Two up, two down. Solid first inning. Yeah, he throws strikes. And doing good. He's got the command. He's doing be in good. The zone, be effective. But just moving the ball around, getting the ball back from the catcher, Boog, and throwing the pitch. Woo. And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. It's an interesting Woo. thing when you consider limiting walks. Is it more important today because of how many home runs are being hit? No doubt. Keeping guys off the base paths with the way the swings and the launch angles are what, today. The emphasis okay. of hitting home runs is so huge. It's never been more important. Swing and there a miss. Go, baby. And he got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Through an inning, no score here on the show. Back here in Cleveland, here's a speed threat, Julio Rodriguez. Great speed and great power, a great athlete, quite simply. Quantrill, back to work. That's the third, and foul ball. He's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, 
he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. That one hammered, but pulled foul. That one ripped left field. That's going back. Back some more. Makes the catch up against the wall. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Quan makes a nice grab at a full sprint. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. On the ground, and it goes just foul. No score here in the second. back to work and that one ripped to left and that's just foul man he'd like to have that pitch back Quattro back to work hammers that one deep left field let's and go it. baby let's go that's what I'm talking about Teasco Hernandez Hits one out. His fourth home run of the season, baby. Of the season. Let's the go. The Mariners strike first. It's one nothing. No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He left it in the spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. Two outs, nobody on. Cal Raleigh digs in now. 61% chance of winning already? Hit weakly uh, on I mean, the ground yeah, towards second. It. Tosses to first, third out. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now 1-0. We head to the bottom of the second. Leading Josh up. Bell at the plate now. The designated hitter. Josh. The line in the pitch. Yeah. Out to short. Moore. Slings it across. And quickly one away in the second. Batting fifth. Here's the Josh Naylor. Naylor. Line drive, base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Around first, digging for two. The throw into second, and the tying runs at second base with a double. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Next offering is in for a strike. Naylor over at second, one down. And a base hit into right center field. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. Colton Wong up to Oh, hit. the throwing mechanics need to do so much better right now. Ground ball right side could be two. Jimenez over to second. Got him. There we go, the baby. play cuts down the potential Ooh. tying run. Well, the second baseman made Colton that Wong, one. sorry, buddy, we had to Great trade you, but your shortstop ass. Shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam, and they end the inning. Beautiful double play. Perfect. Here in Cleveland, and now here's the veteran DH, Tommy LaStella. The wind of the pitch. That one to first, and foul ball. LaStella, a former All-Star. 34-year-old vet, and he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2011.
And here it comes. Hammered. Base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. Makes the turn and heads for second. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Two that was close. I almost went right to second, too. to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off Dela first Cruz. base. Damn, the Rangers are losing 8-3 to three against Dela the Cubs Cruz. in the fifth. We'll hit next. Yeesh. On the ground right side, four, six, three, and they turn the double play. Well, a very fast developing play right there, no margin for error. Nice double play on a fast runner up the line. Here's Andres Jimenez. That one ripped right center field. It one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Safely into second, he's got a double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel now, any man. vibration in your hands whatsoever. Feeling. Such a good oh. feeling. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap, and when you can drop one. Oh, now this one's high and deep, way back there. Holy Shitaki. Let's go, baby. That'll fire up the dugout. His first, first home run. Of the year, it's 3-0. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, <laughs> wow. on that first pitch, and I think Let's those go, the baby. Fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. That's what I'm talking about, Shani. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. And a ground ball to first. Yep, Naylor go. takes it himself. And that's the third out. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now 3-0. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. And now the center fielder, George Valera. The center fielder. Clips the corner. Going one. Gilbert, the tall righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curve, a changeup, and he works in a sinker. Oh, and two now. Swings through it for the K. The high heat too much on that one. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Bo Naylor at the plate now. And first offering is fouled off. Strike on the inside corner. down looking wow that's a tough call for the hitter but the pitcher will take that all day long not quite in the strike zone but he found a spot that the umpire is going to at least for now allow him to get that call so hitters are going to have to make an adjustment but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can France steps on the bag Guardians go down in order Guardians fail to score still down three nothing Back here at the ballpark, now Julio Rodriguez. Quantrill back to work. Smash to the left side. Sends it across to first, and one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Now here is Ty France. He's 0 for 1. That one is absolutely belted. And it hits the top of the wall. Look, Ty France is a great player, but he is slow as shit. He is slow. Uh, I love the guy. I'm going to keep him, but he is slow. Damn, that's all right. We got a guy, we got a guy on base. That's fine. now the right fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Hit hard, base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Now batting, the catcher, 
Cal. And up next Whoa. for Seattle, Cal Raleigh rolled out to second in his first at bat. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. This ball's chopped on the ground. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. <laughs> An A3, huh? Look at this. That should have been an easy. Easy double play. So now we got bases loaded. Please, who, who's a good hitter coming up? Ah, uh, all right, well, see what we can do. And he's already singled in this game. And it's just foul. That was close. Bases loaded. One away. Please be a grand slam. To first, might be two. Naylor to oh. second. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. How and stupid is that? Him. How stupid is that? You got Welcome three back. people John on base. Chubby and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the <sighs> the Ahmed Rosario. Oh, the right hander back to work. There's a strike. You think back to 2017, and Cleveland set a major league record. 22 consecutive wins they had. It was capped off with a 10-inning walk-off win. Pretty amazing streak and a big part of the history of this yard. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One gone here. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like now he was bad. set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Alvarez in position. He makes the grab. Two down. Boog, and I remember early in that season covering them. And I really got to switch those guys to numbers, Alvarez and uh, Rodriguez. I, I do not do like research, their numbers switch. Metrics like base runs, I realized they weren't scoring runs at the rate in which the data was I mean, saying they should be at. So Alvarez, were saying it was just a matter of time until they he can have whatever number. I don't Little care, but Julio, nah, 44 is his, man. Streak, See what I can do about that. I love when you talk nerd to me. Now fly ball to right center. Rodriguez heads towards it. Racing makes the catch. And that is that. Back now at Progressive Field. All set for the start of the inning. And now for Seattle, Ellie De La Cruz. The right-hander back to work. Line drive. And it stays fair. Now he turns and heads for second. In safely, it's a leadoff double in the fifth. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. They really turned on that one, and as it hooked down the line, it was hard to tell if it would stay fair, but he just barely sneaked in there. Back to the top of the Seattle order. Here's the Mariners' leadoff man, Andres Jimenez. That one lifted to left. Quan settles underneath it. And out number one on the grab. Dylan Moore up next for the Mariners. He's already homered in this game. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one carrying. That's down. One hops off the wall. Runner from second crosses the play. And it's 4-0. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. I'll tell you what, man, Dylan Moore is doing great right now. Doing great. I love it. And that one ripped into right. Fair ball. Here comes Moore. He'll score easily. It's 5 nothing. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Really spun on that pitch and ripped it down the line. And it couldn't have been much closer to ending up in foul territory. But it did just sneak in there 
for the big calls it in to a way turned on that one absolutely really want him to be an all-star this year man come on it's getting a little frustrating Ty France up next for the Mariners that one ripped he's got it and that is out number three ready to go for the last half of the inning and now it's Josh Naylor and a good fastball to start him off that's strike one one strike that's in there love how vocal the umpire is today no doubt in the hitter's mind catcher's mind and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call and a swing and a miss down on strikes one away just now blown back. away in that at bat right, three. three fastballs oh, all four. strikes he wasn't even able to foul no, one off no, no. there's not much you could take away from an at bat like that as a hitter other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes got to have better timing on the fastball next time next pitch has popped up France hauls it in and there's two away two outs base is empty and up next for Cleveland Colton Wong swing and a tapper that rolls foul looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings Looking for the K. Nothing doing for the Guardians there. It's 5 nothing. Back here in Cleveland. We top of the sixth the inning. And now like Teoscar to Hernandez. Hernandez. The pitch. Ripped into right center. And that should be extra bases. And just a single as they hustle the ball back to the infield. Everything now came together perfectly for him right there. Now really good swing wrong. right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And here is Cal Raleigh. Now a screamer into the outfield. Quad calls it in, and there's one away. The batter, number four. Man at first, Tommy Lestella, Tommy the next to hit. Lestella. He swings and fouls one off. Pilkington, a 6 3 lefty. He features a four seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. And that one finds its way through. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Couldn't have timed it up any better now than back. that. Just a cookie okay. down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And they stop him at third. So base is loaded with one away. Back-to-back -back singles. So back. Timing on the, the swing was good. Base. Able to shoot Andre's. the ball up the middle. Didn't square yeah. it up as much as he probably would have liked. But that's a good approach paying off. So the lineup flips over. Andres Jimenez up next for the Mariners. There's a strike. Hernandez, the runner at third. La Stella at second. De La Cruz over at first with one away. Hit hard. Should be extra bases. One run is in. Now two runs score. It's seven to nothing. Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his bat through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the Hey, we're not messing around this game. Nope. What a hit, my guy. Second and two run third, double. And stepping in for the Mariners. And we got a great Dylan hitter right now in this game, Dylan Moore. Okay. Swings and blasts one deep to Do left. Do not center. tell me that's a home run. That one is gone. No fucking way. 
His second home run of the game. And they this guy. Lead. It's 10 nothing. This guy is the player of the game. Holy shit. Twice now. Two people on. Brought him home. Let's go, baby. Dylan Moore. Holy crap, bro. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. So Cleveland brings on a new reliever, Aniel De Los Santos. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Your Don Alvarez getting ready to hit. And that one fouled off. Alvarez, an all-star a season ago, 25 years old, and he was born in Cuba. Line drive, Adam in center field. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Julio, my guy, let's go. Please. Left field, please. way back there. Please. Please. And it's oh caught just God. in front of the wall. But not before five crossed the plate. With the big blow being this three run homer, it's now 10 zip. Uh, Dylan Moore at least is show. lights out, my guy. He is lights out. Well, we go bottom six. Here's the center fielder, George Valera. The center fielder. And the pitch. And he takes a strike. Left-hand hitter waits. The punch out there picks up strikeout number seven. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count. Just a poor at bat. Naylor stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. And a swing and a miss. Two away down. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Quad in the box again. Takes a strike. Ground ball right side. On to France. Third out, and that ends the frame. And welcome back. And now, Ty France. And a pitch. Strike one. Well, these Mariners, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. It's been a real team effort. Already seven extra base hits. So that goes to show they're getting contributions from top to bottom. Nobody's doing that by themselves. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now batting, the right fielder. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball left side. And that one hammered Quan going back, back some more, still going back. And it hits the fence. Rosario relayed a second, but he's in there easily. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He yeah, looks locked in. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over. But that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. Cal Raleigh up next for the Mariners. Hard ground ball, base knock. 
Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. The batter, number four. Tommy Lastella up next for the Tommy Mariners. Lastella. Swing and a grounder foul for a space side. For a power of 46, how is he a designated hitter? I don't understand that. Now it's a double play. Rosario won. Double play. Yeah, see, and how is he a DH? So it's no runs on two. Interesting. Here in Cleveland, now the number two hitter, Ahmed Rosario. Foul ball there. Kicks and fires. And that one is lifted in the air. Alvarez makes the grab one away. Here's Jose Ramirez. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, oh, Pretty amazing, his first pitch strike percentage over 90%. You know you're getting something in the zone first pitch. So if you're a hitter, got to be ready to let it fly, even though he's had a lot of success on that first pitch of the at-bat. Next offering misses, and a count one and one two. Ball. two straight. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike now three. Bat. Chris, third time hitter. through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Bell puts it in the air out towards left center. Alvarez settles under it and makes the catch. Back here at the ballpark. Now at the plate, Ellie De La Cruz. Ellie De La Cruz. De Los Santos back to work. Hard hit right side. He takes it on his own. And that's one away up as the leadoff man is out in the, the eighth. Andres and up next Jimenez. for Seattle, Andres Jimenez. Late swing, foul to the left. And the 0 1. Base knock right field. So a man aboard now with one away. Everything came together for him. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Ground ball left side could be two. Over to Wong. On to first, double play. And that's the inning. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Mariners 10 and the Guardians nothing. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And here's the first baseman, Josh Naylor. Here comes a pitch. Up the middle, Jimenez. Fires over to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Now it's the right fielder, Oscar Gonzalez. Foul ball. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. He's in there. One gone runner at first. Now it's the second baseman, Colton Wong. And that's in there for strike one. Swings through that one out in front that time. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Gonzalez stands at first with one out. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, three, double play. And the inning is over. This one pretty well decided at this point. Through eight full, it's the Mariners 10 and the Guardians nothing.
The Guardians going with a new pitcher, Eli Morgan. And he's coming in to pitch on four days rest right here. And that might not be a factor at all in terms of being rusty, but he should definitely be well rested. Alvarez now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Swings and crushes one right field. There we go. That's what I'm gone. talking about. Bring the home runs back. Bring the home runs back. Let's go. Jordan Alvarez. What is Jordan this? Sixth Alvarez home run, man. One out, Holy crap. A run. It's 11 nothing. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Julio Rodriguez up next for the Mariners. Oh, and now this one. There crushed. we go. There we go. That's and what I'm talking gone. about. Let's go. How many is this for him? Three. That one felt okay, good. not bad. Third home run of the season, and they tack one on the board. We got three more it's to catch up to Jordan nothing. Alvarez. Four blasted. to be in the league. Let's Absolutely go, baby. No doubt off the bat. Finally, some good shit happening. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Ty France up next for the Mariners. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he beats it. He's safe. Now batter. Right so Cleveland brings on a new reliever, Trevor Steffen. Damn, that guy didn't He's last long at all. Of the season. Holy crap. And now it's going to be Teoscar Hernandez. Drove it off the wall last time. Just missed out on a home run. Here's a rocket out to left. Tracks it down for the out. And there's one away. It was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. Raleigh, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Crush to right, and that one's going to leave the park. Out you have got here. to be Home kidding run. me right now. Holy cow, is that his first? No, that's the second one. Shot his second of the year. Damn, dude. On to their lead. It's 14 nothing. Damn. We're just cracking home runs here, man. That's just hitting you cannot teach. Incredible. Split finger away. Somehow he got there, hooked it, and got enough barrel to hit that ball out of the ballpark. That's a very impressive swing. Now it's the Mariners' DH. Tommy LaStella. I think this is our highest score ever so far this season. 14 to zip. Bounce to the right Damn. side. On to first, yeah. and he's out. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Ellie De La Cruz. Ripped on the ground a second. Ends the inning after they racked up a bunch of runs. Back here in Cleveland. And All right. the center fielder, George Valera. And he Let's get these last nine pitches out of the way. Late on that fastball. And ball ah. one. Going to count one and two. Back to back fastballs in. Now, last one. Only been doing fastballs here, man. Only go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Fuck that and one next up, but is right. the Guardians catcher, Bo Naylor. Ground ball right side. Fired to second. Oh. 
Return throw to first, and that's two. Yes. <laughs> now, for me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infield. Uh, we're playing some play, great defense right now. It back to Look first. at that. Really good job all the way around. Beautiful. So the Guardians lineup turns over. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Now that's smack to right center. That's a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. All right. I think our, our guys so are getting a little, little tired. And that one lifted in the air. Game center over. Field. Game over. Game over. Game over. Let's go. Game. Mariners, Mariners win again. 14 to zip. One. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. 14 zip at the end of this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. Hey, not bad. Look, nine strikeouts, only four hits, but a complete game shutout. Dylan Moore, three for five, two home runs, six RBIs, four for five, a home run, a home run, a home run, a home run. Like, we're just cranking it. Look, we had five runs in in the sixth inning and four in the last. Wow. Beautiful game. It was fun. I enjoyed it. I might even do another one. Should I do a Texas gameplay? I know you guys are really enjoying that. I'm getting a lot of views for this series and also the Texans series. So I might keep that going. Uh, but anyways, 14 to 0. Yep, that's our complete biggest shutout because we had 13 to 2 when we played them the first series. Is this all? Yeah, that's, that's our biggest score yet. And we're only, what, <clears throat> eight games in? Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's continue this drive. Let's see if we can get a record of most wins in a season, which I think is 20 or 22, 23, somewhere around there. We're going to do it. We're going to have fun. We're going to get Julio a lot more hits, a lot more home runs. Now that we have Jordan Alvarez, it's kind of hard because this guy just hits homers. That's all he does. Um, but... We're having fun. Let's keep it up. Guys, stay safe. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.